Hello guys again, so welcome again for this new tutorial for the STM32F1 library setup for the SPI communication. So in the previous video we could make the um, basic code to set up and in it initialize our SPI and then sending some data. So for this video today we are going to have a look first of all on set up the SPI init function for both SPI 1 and 2 so we will have a general function that will initialize the SPI number that we will put and then we will also set up the SPI TX function the, the function that will send one chart finally we were we are going to set up the um, SPI message function because sometimes we need to send the whole message and um, yeah that's uh, that's all so as a hardware today as usual we are going to use the STM32F1 aka the blue pill and also the logic analyzer good so let's start first with the first step and making the SPI init function so let's start back from our program from the previous tutorial um, so the first step to do is to add the um, .h and .c um, files. So I will create called SPI drive, SPI drive .c, and also the SPI .h. Okay, SPI .h. Oh, this is wrong it's not the sp but uh, the new one spi drive dot h spi drive yeah no mistake we can go ahead with it okay so this is uh, the main c and um so for the spi one as we said it's a port a from pin four to seven accordingly with this function from ship select to clock miso and mossy and for the spi2 and the stm32 f1 it will be from uh, it will be the port b and it will be from 12 po uh, po pin 12 to pin 15 and in the, within the same order so let's create the function so void and uh, yeah, let's put it in first in SPI. Okay, let's close this one as we don't have it. So void SPI in it, and we will need only an uh, unsigned short, and we call it SPI. Okay, so within this function, we will be using the same. So let's then use this library to make things faster. Okay, so we can use it. And also we will need the GP drive library to quickly set up the uh, function. Okay and let's copy the code that we start with so all this is the code we are starting with let's copy here and paste everything here to start with okay so the spi will be the function for spi one or two we will have always enabling need to enable the alternative function I also what we will go to do here is just to put if and we put the SPI is equal to one then we just add the previous code without really thinking too much okay so let's put it like this else okay else if spi is equal to two do not make any mistakes okay so then we need to set up here to change so ah before that we have to go to our 
um, our the the um, reference manual and see which um, we have seen that's APB1 enable and let's go then for the for the um, reference material, um, manual and take a look so we go to the registers it's APB1 enable register and so SPI2 is pin uh, is a bit 14 so which means will be 4000 okay so let's copy again the same thing yeah sorry copy this i think i made the wrong copy yep okay so uh and i didn't copy this let's copy here enable this one spa2 so for this one apb1 enable and that will be a four zero 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 and we said this will be 12 and a pb and still all of them a b b and b and here 13 14 and 15 great so and we just need to change the spi1 to spi2 Okay, and the last one finally as we are starting to be high that will be for the PB12 which is the ship select okay great so for the other option that we have seen I think that I'm giving this to another tutorial when we'll be more advanced and using data structure so finally we copy this function here the SPI save yeah, and I need to add here include SPI drive, okay, capital letter, not H. Let's copy this one here too. And let's run our init SPI in the main program and see if let's let me add this one here to have a clean code and yeah of course for this one I'm starting with SPI1 and let's take this code additionally back to here as a main comment also we remove everything from here to have a, a beautiful clean code and let's put it to the H here great so normally now we put it all our code and if we run our program we should not have okay three warnings I'm quite sure that I have to add some um, end of line for each of them so let's save okay so sorry I saved and um, just run it directly so let's go back again to the logic analyzer and run it okay we can see that we are weaving the uh, to the um, to the logic analyzer working perfectly so we do have here a very clean init function for SPI okay we just finished our init function let's jump and work on the SPI transfer function for one char to send one char so we already almost done the function let's go back to SPI drive and we will create again a new function we call it SPI TX and oh sorry we have to start with a void okay so SPI TX which will take as a first as usual um, we need to specify which SPI peripheral is going to take the the char and then the it will send the char and then char we call it the uh, TX char okay so we just quickly copy paste the code that we have put in and let's 
go here. So for this one, we have been waiting the whole, so we went high, we went low, so we gave the information that we are sending, and then at the end we went low. But as we are, this function is just specific to send only one char, we are putting low and high. So we are going here. So as usual, we have to specify if SPI is equal to one. Okay, let's go here. <coughs> okay, so uh, we will put then this one, send and wait. Okay, so we have to go low. And then after finishing, we are going, to see, we are going to be high. Okay, else, if SPI is equal, I'll uh, just copy same here, it will be equal to two. So if we are taking SPI2, so we are going to use the port B and the pin number 12 to be low. And after that, the SPI2, the um, data register will take the letter. But here, we're not getting the char, but the TX char, the char we are going to send. Okay. And while SPI2, and finally, this one is a PB. 12. Okay, easy busy. So let's save, take this function to the h file. Okay, and let's start using it. Okay, so I'll be deleting all, like I put all of the delay function, and we are sending through the SPI1, and I'll be sending as usual just a moment the view okay to see how now the uh, logic analyzer will show us the picture <coughs> okay copy this one again and this one here okay we have a quite a quick and short function. Let's save it, run and see if there's any no, one warning. Probably I should add an extra line here. Let's check. Good, there's no warning at all. We can upload the data and go to the logic analyzer to see what will be the result. Okay, so we can see we are reading the same message so we are reading the view again but let's take a closer look to what's happening so now each time we are sending a message closing the communication and sending again a message in the past we were opening the message or selecting the sh the the, the, um, the device and keep sending okay this is a fundamental difference between the previous code and the new code which is specifically designed to send only one char on a time now that we um, know how to send only one char the next step will be the logical to start to to send the whole string so let's go for the whole string and um will be our last step in this uh, tutorial so i can see now you already know how to solve it let's do it together then so let's go to the spic and create the new function which will be the void spi message okay so as usual we have to take the unsigned uh, short and the SPI, which SPI are we going to use? But instead of um, having uh, just one char, we will have a string, and um, that will be our message that we'll be sending. Okay, let's initialize int i equal zero. And so if, let's go for uh, if, and same logic, SPI is equal to one let's go 
and say so first as usual we will have this high and low in between but what we will do so we will write while the str of i so we just put it like this because we don't need the if it's not nil we keep doing okay let's go down so let's put i plus plus to keep the count at first place and not forgetting it and what we have to write it's the same so we just put this to one but instead of tx char it will be str of i yeah and spi1 will be waiting and all that is finished so that i hope this is clear so we are opening the communication or selecting the device and we will be sending as far as the we still have the string uh, then we will be sending waiting until the sending operation or transmitting operation finish and then go again check if my still I have any other char in my string if I don't I just finish okay good so we jump to the else and we just need to copy the same thing yeah I know this is not dry um, so else if SPI is equal to 2 so this is a PB12 will go low and this one is also PB high that will be high at the end of the uh, transmission so same we use the same string this is SPI SPI2 and SPI2 great so I think we are good so let's go back to uh, first let's uh, put it in the H uh, file okay uh, last file and collect all together so let's copy here and so well that would be good to add it to here so I'm not copying this one I'm using my SPI one and I'm sending wheel so we can compare then how things will go okay okay good so let's save compile okay one warning as usual I forgot to add an extra line at the end let's save compile again okay zero error zero warning so far so good let's run and see what will go yeah let's close this and open this one run the uh, logic analyzer okay and take a look to what's happening so this one so here we do have the interruptions and after that immediately we exactly we are sending so we can read here the wheel with interruption in the chip select and after that we just send a wheel in one shot both function can be useful surely we can use the second one as um, a short a general picture of the first but I wanted to go through both of them so we can have a good idea on um, um, on how to build the function for the SPI okay so now we we have been looking to the SPI function we we've seen the transmission that's really good that's really great but uh, we should better go for some application and so see and testing all the knowledge that we have built for so far so in the next episode we are going to use the Nokia 5110 screen because this is one Nokia using SPI communication to uh, make in some text and see how things will go Okay, stay tuned, please subscribe, and woo!